Hey guys, this is Jay from uh, Houston Vapors here. I'm actually doing a review of something that I impulse bought. I went to a local store just to get um, <clears throat> some juice and I left with smoke, the natural. Got the uh, regular 18650 version, so you know I have my E-Fest 10 amp in here. And uh, damn, this thing, uh, the first thing I noticed was the box. It comes with this nice, like, really squishy foam in it. Um, and it's really, really nice quality box for such an affordable mod. But, I mean, what do you expect from Smoke? They make quality things. If uh, any of you follow my personal channel, you know that I'm a Smoke Tech fanboy. So, it's a uh, solid stainless steel construction multiple piece design as you can see right now I'm going to be vaping on 0 0.8 ohms out of my Nimbus clone I'm actually proud it's a perfect 0.8 ohms which is my preferred uh, ohms on my dual micro coils I'm going to drip some Elixir Strawberry Kiwi Zero Nicotine on here. I believe this is a 50-50 PG-VG ratio from uh, Electronic Cigarettes Elixir here in the Houston Katy area. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drip this on and uh, vape a little bit and then I'll give you a little bit of a review of the Smoke Tech The Natural. Uh, I noticed when vaping this mod on like 0.4 ohms, it did hot button a little bit. I don't know a fix for that yet, but if I do find a fix for that, I'll definitely make a video on how to do it because I know hot buttoning bothers a lot of people. Um, it has a fantastic finish on it. It's a very, very nice. It's almost like a, a brushed, brushed, polished stainless steel type color. It uh, it's really nice. It's a fingerprint magnet, though, for sure. It's almost as bad as the iTaste VTR. There's not a lot of voltage lost in the contact point, though, which is nice because there's the contact point where you can actually adjust this with a uh, flathead screwdriver. I don't have one right now, it's in the garage. But you just you put a flathead right in there, screw it counterclockwise to lower the pin, screw it clockwise to heighten the pin. The threading is very, very deep in there. So, you know, you can fit all sorts of different length of uh, 510 threading doesn't have any ego threading on it though it's only 510 and there's a bit of a gap with my Nimbus clone just because the adjustment in my clone doesn't uh, want to work it's very very stiff almost kinda like it's loctited but this mod I impulse bought it it was a great deal for it I believe it was like 35 or 40 bucks at uh, elixir and with no warranty though but then again, Smoke Tech, you don't really need a warranty with their stuff because they produce quality, quality mods and uh, tanks. So, I give it a 5 out of 5 for an affordable mechanical mod. The button's really, really nice. It's nice and wide, fits my pinky nice. Um, you can undo the threading really quickly. I think the best thing is that there's not a lot of voltage lost. On my KTS, there's a ton of voltage loss. I actually had to sand the contact point down to the brass to get um, minimal voltage loss. But with this thing, it's I don't have to do any of that. No sanding, nothing like that. So I don't have to lower the resale value at all, <clears throat> which is great. That's because I, I like to I buy and trade my mods a lot. Um, 
with friends and people out here in the Houston community. Um, it's great because I don't I don't really like the like ego style top buttons or bottom buttons. I prefer side buttons, and this one's very nice in profile compared to uh, like the KTS and stuff. And uh, I just grip it like this, fire with my pinky. Tasting a little bit burnt, so I'm going to go ahead and drip some more juice on it. So yeah, this whole setup right here was I think like $55 in total. Uh, not including Kenthal, of course. I'll give you one big cloud before I finish off this review. I dig it. I like it a lot. It's a definitely a very, very good starter mechanical. If you're if you're getting into the mechanical mods, you know, stepping it up from egos and stuff like that, or even if you just want something uh, affordable and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a mech, definitely the Smoke Tech Natural. Got to go with it. Um, that's it. Five out of five. Perfect. Uh, perfect mod. Doesn't hot button too much. Um, peace out, guys. This is Jay from Peace and Vapors.